The final selection tool I want to show you today is the wand selector. That's this tool here, the wand tool. Let's have a look up in the options bar. Anti-alias, like before, means no jagged edges, always smooth edges. You're pretty much always going to want to leave anti-alias checked. Contiguous is another word for touching. So when you have contiguous click, that means that it's going to select pixels that are similar in color that are touching each other. What that means is, if I click in this gray box, only that one gray box will select. The reason is that these white borders outside will stop the selection from pouring over the edges. Whereas if I click over here, I'll get all of this black area because it's all reached by adjacent pixels. I don't get this black area over here or this black area here. So that's what contiguous means. You will normally want to choose contiguous. Let's try without contiguous checked and we'll click on say this black here. And you'll see that when contiguous isn't checked, you can get some pretty unpredictable results. This is not very useful uh, selection. So I'll deselect with control D, we'll recheck contiguous and watch. If I click on the red block, the red block selects just the blue, just the yellow, just the gray, just the gray. So you can see this is a very, this is spilled down a little bit here. This is a very fast way to select a touching, a contiguous block of something all the same color, much faster than, select, than using the lasso or the marquee. Of course, we can still do the shift select. So if you want to select a number of blocks, we can do the control select to remove something. So that's the wand. I did want to show you it in a slightly different picture because I want to show you the tolerance. Um, so let me open a picture of Mr. Lincoln here. Here we go. And I want to use the wand to select the statue. You can see that that's not going to be terribly easy because although it's very clear to us where the boundaries of the statue are. You can see the statue is a variety of colors, and some of the colors in the statue are quite similar to the colors of the sky behind. So this is where the tolerance comes in. The tolerance means how close in tone to the pixel I just clicked on are the adjacent pixels, and should I pick them up. So let me, for example, turn the tolerance up to 54. And I'm going to click right here on Mr. Lincoln's chest. And you'll, you see that it has spilled the selection all out to the blue sky behind him because it's just too close. So I'm going to deselect, turn the tolerance down. I'm going to turn it way down and click. And now we see, maybe you can see, I hope you can see. Let me zoom in so you can see. We have just a very small amount of Mr. Lincoln selected. So 54 was too much. 18 is probably not enough. So let's try something in between. Let's say 33. That sounds good. Where does that leave us? That's better. Yes. I think I still like to go a little faster than that. It's going to take a while to select the entire statue going that way. So I'll deselect. We'll try, say, in the lower 40s. Let's try that. Okay, that's a bigger chunk. Now I'm going to hold down shift. Oh, we got the sky. Not so good. Let's deselect. And we're probably going to have to work with down in the 30-ish range. So I'm going to click, shift click, shift click to increase the area of the selection. See how we're doing that? Let's get the big areas done first. Sometimes I find it a little hard to see, is it a selected or a deselected area? See how this black dark part hasn't selected itself. See, just selecting inside the pieces that are not yet selected. It's 
go down. I've got the shift key held all the way. Okay, so let's select this and this and this. Good. And that and that. See how this is working? I'm just selecting, clicking inside the areas that are not selected with the shift key held down to add it to the selection. Won't be the complete end of the world if we don't get every, every single pixel, although ideally you would. This tolerance is about right there, isn't it? But so far we're not getting out of bounds but it's not too slow a selection job. See here I go, just clicking on the little areas that aren't selected. Little area here, a little plus by the wand showing that I've got the shift key held down as I work. All right, I hope that's going to be good enough. Let's go to 100%. <laughs> All right, let's try copying him. I want to put him on a white background because I want to see how he looks. Now, they see, that's fine, isn't it? That's just perfectly fine. All right. So now I want to open our garden file because I thought he might look very nice in that garden. And let's paste him. It does look nice, but a little on the large size, wouldn't you say? So let's transform him. And I'm going to hold down the shift key so that I keep him in scale. And look, he's just Mr. Lincoln walking in the garden. That's really rather charming, isn't it? So again, that was the wand tool. And we played with the tolerances and we checked out what happened if you deselected contiguous. Then you realize that you can, let's zoom in here to look at him. You can, in fact, get away with a fair amount of, um, depending on the application. When we zoom in, we can see he's still a little choppy. But for the purposes of putting him in a fairly small size in this garden, it works for. Okay.